Hello game developers In this tutorial we're gonna breathe life into our player character by animating him In particular we're gonna make him run, jump, slide and fall using the unity animation system previously called Meccano We'll also code his jump behavior in tandem so let's do that We'll begin this tutorial by going over a mini introduction in 3D computer graphics so that you know the underlying process of how a 3D character is animated not just in Unity, but in game development in general. Otherwise, it would just look like we're clicking buttons. This makes it difficult to avoid some technical jargon related to 3D computer graphics. So be sure to check the articles that are included in this tutorial to know more about the subject. So go to the models folder in our project assets folder and then locate our player character model inside the U character folder. Let's expand the model files and select the character mesh. Drag the preview bar up like so, so that we could see our mesh in the inspector window. Now this character model, which I believe was the official Unity mascot back when they released Unity 4, started as just a digital 3D sculpture, like the one you see in the preview right now, by the 3D artist who created it in a 3D modeling software, like 3ds Max or Blender. As you can see in the wireframe view of our character, the 3D modeling software or sculpting software Store the character model as a bunch of subdivided triangles with edges and vertices using sophisticated computer graphics algorithms. For example, here is showing that this character model is comprised of 8088 triangles and 5001 vertices. These triangles and vertices form the outer surface of our character model which is called the mesh or scan in computer graphics. However, that's not enough for us to animate our character model. What we need to do now to be able to animate our character model is create a skeletal map of interconnecting bones and joints inside this mesh that mimics the anatomy of humans. And this is done in a process known in the animation world as rigging, which is usually tedious depending on the complexity of the 3D model. However, luckily for us, Unity has automated the rigging process so that we don't have to animate our 3D models ourselves. We could just import pre-made animations from outside and rig them into our character skeletal map in a few simple steps. So let's rig our player character. Select the character model from the project assets folder. From the inspector window, click the rig tab. Under animation type, select humanoid. Tick the optimize game objects box so that it doesn't create any unnecessary additional files. Hit apply. Now what Unity has done is that it automatically created the bones and joints definitions for the player avatar and mapped them onto their designated positions inside the player avatar under what is known as a skeletal map. And if you want to see the skeletal map of this player avatar, go to configure from the avatar definition. Let's see our player from the front. So this is the skeletal map that the humanoid rig has created for our player avatar. You can see that it mimics human anatomy, hence it's called humanoid rig. And on the right you can see where each bone is placed on the player avatar denoted by the target sign. Below are the definitions for the bones. Each bone is represented or defined by a transform object that has a position, scale, and rotation. For example, if we click on the upper arm bone, we can see its transform values here. Okay, finally, on the left, Unity has created this intricate hierarchy of game objects for the bones. This is because some game objects, in this case bone game objects, have to be grouped together so that they can move together. For example, if we click on the right hand bone transform game object, we can see that it's children of the right elbow game object. So, if the player avatar's right forearm moves, then his right hand must move as well, just like a real life. Okay, hit done and then go to the animations folder inside the U character folder. Here are four pre-made animations that I have imported from a website called Mixamo and put in your Temporon Clone Starter Kit package. What we're gonna do is give each of these animations a humanoid rig here in Unity, just like we did with the player character model. But first, let's go to Mixamo and see how we can download different animations for them to be used with Unity. Open up your browser and go to Mixamo.com. Sign up for a free account. I believe that they have a paid membership that has more animations and features, but a free account is more than enough for this course. Once you're logged in with your account, you can view and download thousands of animations. Let's look for a running animation and see how we can import it in Unity. I'll choose this one, and I believe it's the same one included in the starter kit package. Hit download. Under format, choose Unity FBX. Let's have it without scan and at 30 frames per second. Now simply drag and drop the downloaded FBX file into your project assets folder. Or go to your project assets folder and right click. 
then choose import new asset and locate the animation fbx file now let's rig our first animation which is the running animation named export at running.fbx as you can see it has the same import settings as our player model go to the rig tab and select humanoid and also take the optimize game objects box hit apply now go to the animation tab and we can play our animation in the preview to see how it's gonna look if you wanna see our player avatar instead of this ragdoll model in the preview go to this little cyan avatar icon here and select other to choose our player avatar model let's look for it here in the search bar and here it is being previewed for the animation you can hit play to see him running if you want now let's apply some necessary settings to our running animation first tick the loop time box because we want the running animation to be constantly looping and not just be played once and also tick the back into position box for the root transform rotation option because we don't want the animation to change our player's position or rotation and select based upon original scroll down and hit apply and we're adjusting these options because these animations are not specifically made for our character they are imported from somewhere else we have to play with the settings to make them work properly on our character model 